We're going to have that in minutes, but we begin with a condition that makes patients even more vulnerable to the damage caused by COVID-19. And we're talking about sleep apnea, and there is a procedure being used in our area to help fight it. KPRC2 health reporter Haley Hernandez joining us now to explain this. Haley? Yes, so there is a device that can be surgically implanted, and a lot of people steered clear of this operation in the past because their CPAP machine worked fine. But the CPAP doesn't always work for everyone, and more recently, the the surgical implant got a lot less invasive. Ibaldo Borrego from Magnolia says he hasn't had much success with other ways to treat his sleep apnea, and he knows it's bad for his health and a concern for his wife. She worries. Uh, you know, she feels that, uh, you know, I stop breathing. And she starts nudging me and stuff, but yeah, she worries a lot. To permanently fix the problem, he went into the operating room this morning at Baylor St. Luke's. In this short surgery, surgeon Andrew Wong implants a device that controls his tongue. In an essence, to basically use your own muscles to help you breathe rather than the usual obstruction that happens in the condition. He says it's a less invasive procedure than devices like this used to be. Now it just takes two small incisions to implant the device and a battery to turn it off and on. And you can actually get an app that's linked to your implant that will actually tell you how many hours you're using it per night, you know, what is its uh, usefulness, you know, um, what is your, your sleep quality. And so these are really great because you can follow it. Dr. Wong says it's an outpatient procedure. Recovery is quick and pain is typically managed with over-the-counter meds. For Borrego, it was an easy decision. Can't wait. <laughs> get, get this done. Now, the only patients that Dr. Wong does not recommend to get this implant is for people who have a BMI greater than 35. He says weight loss is more beneficial for those patients than operating would be. Christine? Yeah, it's pretty remarkable. Haley, does insurance cover this or will it? Yeah, actually, uh, St. Luke's told me that the majority of insurance companies are covering this because they say it's a necessary operation, especially since they've seen such impressive success with it. All right, very good, Haley. We appreciate that. Thank you.